welcome to the tutorial on the c programming language this is our seventh lecture in which we will discuss about the algorithm and flowchart for adding a two number in a previous lecture we will discuss about the algorithm and flowchart within this lecture we will see how we can write the algorithm and parallelly how we will to convert this algorithm into a flowchart so as we know that algorithm is a sequence of the state that need to follow a particular problem you can define a algorithm as a sequence of the step to solve a particular problem so before writing a program we need to define a algorithm that is nothing but the sequence of the instruction that will be executed step by step to solve a particular problem so algorithm can have a specific input and it after completing the a sequence of this instruction you will get the specific output then we will convert this algorithm into a high level programming language programming language this thing we had already discussed in a first lecture uh, so uh, you can uh, convert you can represent your algorithm in a two different way one is your flow chart and another is its pseudo code so we will in this lecture we will see about the flow chart and algorithm so let's start with the algorithm Uh, we will see the algorithm for adding a two number here i am giving the algorithm first you have to start and then stop with the algorithm uh, to adding a two number and store this number into a third variable we need to de declare a three variable num1 num2 and sum we will read a two number from the user and then we will add this two number and store within a sum and your result will be display so input of this algorithm is a two number and output you will get the addition of this two number here i am displaying the flow chart how you can draw a flow chart using this algorithm now we will see a parallelly how we can do this thing so starting with the algorithm so first step start second declare a variable num1 num2 about variable we will discuss in the next lecture and sum third read num1 and num2 that means get a input from the user as a two number fourth step add this two number and store within a sum fifth step display a result that is stored in a sum and six stop the algorithm so these are the input to your algorithm and this is the output to our algorithm so here i am defining the algorithm now we will see how we will convert this algorithm into a flow chart is we know that flow chart is a graphical or diametric representation of our algorithm so we will draw the algorithm over here start next we have to declare a three variable that is a process so you can define a process using within a rectangle box so here you can write declare num1 num2 and sum now we have a three variable next step read a variable from the user for a input you have to use this parallelogram within this you can write like this read num1 and num2 next step we need to add this number so it is a process again you can define a process like this so you can write sum is equal to num1 plus num2 now our result will be stored in a sum so you have to display this as output 
that can be defined like this display so and then stop so this is the flowchart for the adding a two number so you can say this and this are a process and these are used for uh, input and output so how this will be executed first we have declared three variable then we need num1 and num2 suppose we are giving num1 is equal to 5 and num2 is equal to 6 then sum is equal to num1 plus num2 so your sum will be a 5 plus 6 that should be a 11 and then we will display a sum so you will get the result as a 11 so what are the input of this algorithm is a two number we are giving 5 and 6 and what are the output addition of these two number 11 so within this lecture we had discussed about the uh, how to write an algorithm to adding a two number and how we can uh, uh, draw a flow chart from the algorithm in the next lecture we will add a 10 number and we will see how to write the algorithm and how to convert this algorithm into a flow chart Thank you.